If you're looking for a position as an administrative assistant and you don't have any experience because either you've been busy raising the family or you're looking to make a career move but you don't have the skill set to apply for an administrative assistant position, you came to the right place. I have over 50 videos on my channel to answer all your questions how to do specific administrative tasks and to help you understand the day-to-day -day scenarios that you're going to encounter as an administrative assistant. Now let's review the most important skill set that you're going to need to have and I'll share some helpful tips along the way to help you get started. Being an administrative assistant is your ticket to any corporation. The position is always in demand and the skills you learn are universal in every company. If you've been looking at job requirements on Indeed, CareerBuilder, or LinkedIn, you quickly see that the responsibilities of the position are supporting one or several managers, but here's the most important skills that you have to have. The most important skill set you need to know is how to use Microsoft applications, meaning you need to know Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Those applications are the most used by assistants, and if you've never used these applications or if you have a limited understanding, then start learning by following beginner tutorials on YouTube. I went ahead and reviewed a couple tutorials for you that I thought were really good beginner tutorials, which were easy to understand and easy to follow. For Word, Microsoft Word Tutorial Beginner Level 1 by Teachers Tech did a great job covering the Word application. For Excel, Excel Tutorial for Beginners, Excel Made Easy by Layla Garani, and I think I said her name right. And for PowerPoint Beginner's Guide to PowerPoint by Edward Stinga. Answering the executive's phone line is a task that you'll constantly be doing, and it can be a little scary at first, but with time it becomes easier. But here's the great news. I have a full video on the subject to help you through the process and the video is called How to Properly Answer Your Executive's Phone Line. But let me tell you that you already have the skill set to do this. When you receive a phone call on your cell and you're not familiar with who's calling or the reason why they're calling, you normally ask who's calling and what's this in regards to. It's the same thing answering your executive's phone line. The only difference is how you open the call. Companies usually have a scripted welcome format of how to greet the caller, but if they don't, my video provides a couple of different options. Calendar management is where you schedule meetings for your manager and it's reviewing what's coming into your manager's calendar. If you don't have experience with scheduling meetings, then go to your computer and search Google Calendar. This is a great way to practice. You can start scheduling meetings on Google Calendar with your friends and family to schedule birthday parties, dinner or lunch plans, up to your kids' events where you can schedule meetings to be directed to your spouse and grandparents as reminders. Mail distribution is one of the responsibilities of the administrative assistant. You handle incoming and outgoing mail for the office. And companies normally already have an established procedure, how the process works. But in case it doesn't and you have to create your own process, it's an easy startup. Have a drop-off location where the U.S. mail, inner office mail, and Amazon FedEx and UPS small packages will be delivered to. Look at purchasing a utility card with rollers for an easy drop off and an easy pickup for you. Here's a similar card I bought for our admin to make her life a little easier. I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description for you. Section the mail by groups then find out who the person for each group will be that you'll deliver the mail to and where they sit. If you don't recognize the name on the mail, look up the name in the company global to determine which groups they belong to. Ordering supplies for the office and every assistant will tell you that they currently do the task or they've done it in the past. Before you purchase the supplies, you first have to determine the location where the supplies are going to be located and if they're going to be secured. Because if you don't secure the supplies, it'll be a free for all and you'll lose control of what you have. Place your supplies in the spare room where you can lock the supplies or a filing cabinet that comes with a lock and key. Your company most likely already has an account with either Staples, Office Depot, or Office Max, but for some reason if they don't, you'll need to find out which administrative general ledger account number needs to be used for that account. And either your manager or your finance person can give you this number, and this is the way the supply company knows where to bill. Here's another great thing to consider. If you have multiple groups in your office, you can gather their general ledger numbers and add them to your account. So anytime you purchase for other groups outside of your own, you want those general ledger numbers to be billed. Many companies hold hard copy documents and if your company requires you to maintain a filing system, it's an easy process to set up. Have your filing system sectioned out by groups. So if your company has four groups within it, then a four drawer filing cabinet is appropriate. And files need to be created. If you have documents that are on legal hold, those documents have to have their own location and listed as legal hold. 
Create a spreadsheet and in the spreadsheet, create individual tabs for each group. Within each tab, list the name of the document, which file the document is in, and any other important at a glance information. The spreadsheet becomes an easy reference and a quick turnaround on a request. When you're in a new administrative role, you have to learn a lot and one is taking minutes at your manager's meetings. And if you're not familiar with taking minutes, let me share a great way to learn and it all starts at home. Start taking notes of what's being discussed with your family, but only capture the items in the discussion that need to be done for your children and for your spouse. So when your kids come home from school and you ask about their day, write notes based on that discussion and any takeaways based on that conversation. So if your son has a baseball game on Friday and needs new pants, so there's one takeaway, son needs pants before Friday. Plus you need to inform your spouse of your son's game so they can leave a little early. And now you have to anticipate the needs based on the discussion. And one of those needs is dinner. You wouldn't have time to make dinner. So you would think ahead of time what you're gonna eat for dinner. And those are your takeaways. So it's the same with taking minutes at work. What needs to be done? Who's going to do it and when? Booking travel for your executive? You'll need guidance from your manager how they like to travel. But a great way to teach yourself ahead of time is to review flights online with different airline carriers. You can check out the different airline fares, where they travel to, where the layovers are at, and how long the layovers are. And you start to get a feeling of travel. Getting ready to be a great administrative assistant takes a little time and practice before you head into the position. But like I said at the beginning of the video, it's a ticket to any corporation. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. And if you have a great tip to share, leave it in the comments. Thanks everybody for watching. Take care.